Chelsea, what's the difference in Chris's career arc if he's hitting threes versus not? Um, I mean, it's it's there's a big, it's pretty substantial, you know, because um, he's he's just a basketball player. He kind of does everything. He's like a Swiss Army knife. Um, and if you can get those type of guys to become really good three-point shooters, then you have those those Iggy's and, you know, then you have those real, real guys, you know, um, that are championship starters, you know, if you will. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, it's a big difference. And if not, you know, he's still going to be a terrific player, you know, but it's just – your ceiling is just so – it's just different. What do you think the difference is between – particularly young players trying to figure out their spot as, as a shooter in the league. He's shooting 43% from the corners, but he's 19% above the break, which you don't usually see that stark of a difference between the two. When you see something like that, does that make you think it's something more mental than it is more mechanical? Uh, I mean, the, the corner three is the shortest three on the floor, obviously. So it's a different shot, you know. Um, and there's so many other things that could bother you you know, on those wings and at the top of the key is so much floor, so and so many different opportunities that you have when you're in that corner. You know, it's, most of the court is over with because it's the, it's, you're out of bounds. You only got really one side to worry about. So it's just so much other things that could go through your mind um, other places, you know, in them quadrants. But when you're in the corner, it, the decisions are pretty easy. You know, um, I think that's one thing that makes most players more comfortable there as opposed to being up top. You know, up top, you can drive right, you can drive left, you can, you know, there's so many things you can next that. Like in the corner, there's not that many options. Um, so it cuts down your thinking process, you know. Um, but also, you know, it's, it's hard to get corner threes, man, in this league, you know, um, for that reason. You know, that's why most teams and players shoot better in the corners. But it's a tough spot to get to, you know, and get a ton of them. Through the process of development, how frustrating was that third quarter? Sloppy as yeah. seven turnovers. Yeah, yeah. It, it's been our Achilles. Uh, it's been our Achilles heel, you know. Um, shoot, uh, I think if we go back a couple games, I mean, shoot against New Orleans, I think we gave up 31 points off turnovers in the game, in games that we are competing in. You know, um, I think in Chicago we have 19 points. And it's a tough spot for us, you know. Um, and some of it is youth and some of it is, you know, we just, we're just careless with the ball. And then a night like tonight, it really was them, you know. Um, like those other couple games, they didn't really pressure us enough to turn us over. Tonight the pressure was was real, you know. You have some real, real defenders out there um, that were forcing us into bad situations. And those are those nights where you say, all right, uh, you know, those are teachable moments for all of us that we got to talk about and watch. But, man, that's where experience, you, you just hope that you learn from it, you know. But, um, yeah, it was mostly them tonight. And it, wasn't, it wasn't just us, I mean. We were a little careless, but they, they turned their pressure up at the half, and it made a big difference. What are you seeing with Scoot these last week or so that he's been back from the injury? He's been up and down, been up and down. Um, struggled in some of the games, you know. That's why I really I wanted to leave him out there, you know, um, because the more minutes, the better, you know. Um, whether it's a great game or not, I just think getting him comfortable, because we've seen – uh, throughout the year, certain moments where he looked very comfortable, you know, where he got so much better, and then, you know, those, these peaks and valleys, and then you see some where he's he's turning it over, he's not really reading the, the game fast enough. Um, we've seen that in the last week or so. So he's been up and down the last week. Have you seen with, I mean, to us, he's he's been pretty steady the whole year, basically, whether he's playing well or not. You know, have you have you seen anything change this last? little bit of time with you know the process and kind of how he's you know reacting to stuff and how he's you know reacting to you know games that he has that are good or bad. Oh no, 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 I haven't, man. He, he's I'm telling you, he he really impresses me with that. 
you know, because I've been him before and I wasn't that steady. You know, I was I was wearing those struggles with, you know, day in and day out. He doesn't. He doesn't. You know, um, you got to have a short memory in this league. And that's a, that's a that sounds very cliche, but it's so true. He does. He has that, you know, um, I think that's been helpful to him. Hit a wall though. There's a, there's a lot of games. Oh, there's a, absolutely. There's a chance he's hit a wall like everybody else. You know, that's that age that hadn't played this many games. Um, and I know for me, you know, and I'm pretty sure for him too, especially at that position, it's it's more mental than physical. You know, it's so much to think about. Every game, every team plays different. I'm guarding somebody new. Somebody, um, they're putting two or three different people on me. Sometimes they're going under. Sometimes they're trapping. Sometimes, oh, man, I got to get DA the ball. I got to, damn, Ant's over there. I got to get, it's so much. It's so much, you know, and you, 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 you're just fried sometimes, you know. So that's the wall um, that most people talk about uh, for point guards. You know, for other players, you don't have as much. But for point guards, it's tough, man. It's tough.